Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist in the Celiac Disease Program here at Mayo Clinic, Rochester. Today I'm talking to you about an article that uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Amy Oxentenko, and I recently published, The 10 Things That Every Gastroenterologist Should Know About Celiac Disease. Why do we publish this? We publish this in order to bring um, our experience of seeing patients with celiac disease in our clinic uh, and what we've learned from that um, to help our colleagues in gastroenterology um, understand or recognize some of the most common issues that occur when it comes to the diagnosis and treatment of celiac disease. For example, the single best serologic test or blood test for celiac disease is the TTG IgA test. And this really should probably be the first test that we use and the most widely used test for celiac disease detection. Another point is that um, everybody or most patients, patients who have got a risk for celiac disease, such as people who are uh, first degree relatives, so if you diagnose somebody with celiac disease in a family, really it should be strongly recommended that other members of the family be tested. Also, people with other conditions at risk for celiac disease, such as type 1 diabetes, people with premature osteoporosis, people with unexplained anemia, for example, testing for celiac disease should be strongly considered. We go on to uh, address the issue of treatment. That the treatment for uh, celiac disease is a strict, lifelong, gluten-free diet, ideally one that is first taught and supervised by an expert dietitian who understands celiac disease and the challenges of a gluten-free diet. In patients who've already been on a gluten-free diet uh, before being diagnosed, a circumstance that's particularly common, then testing for the genetic risk for celiac disease may be helpful. And at the end, we uh, comment that patients who have poorly responsive celiac disease, where they don't get as well as we would have expected, we need to search for complications and other diseases that can associate with celiac disease. And indeed, we also need to relook at the original diagnosis of celiac disease to make sure that it was based on solid ground. Thank you.